The big LaGuardia story for years has been about getting to the plane. New jetways and terminals are being built. An air train has been proposed, but it needs final approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. Tom Gresh is president of the Queen's Chamber of Commerce. At the end of the day, the FAA went through chapter and verse, every single one of those um, uh, objections and suggestions and took into account cost, economic feasibility. From LaGuardia, it will connect to the 7 train and Long Island Railroad at Metz Willits Point. The impact on the people nearby has been Frank Taylor's concern as president of Dittmar's Boulevard Block Association. The process is flawed. It's heavily flawed because the FAA is not doing their job. There are 20, 30 different ways to get from one part to the other. There's also millions to rebuild the nearby Flushing Bay Promenade. And we can't get the promenade fixed? We got to wait for the airport to say, OK, we'll take this project down your throat and then we'll fix the promenade. No, that's not right. The economy and jobs for the region are cited as benefits of the project. Carlos Asura is New York Building Congress president. To build something now that can really get you onto transit off out of your cars, create jobs and have some local community benefits. It's a win-win. Thousands of comments were submitted and reviewed by the FAA. Shaul Piker is a transit advocate known as Union Turnpike on Twitter. He went through the report. There are cheaper ways of doing this. If you if you that you could just um, add dedicated bus lanes to Q70. That it was initially, I think Cuomo said it would be like 500 million or so. Now it's two billion. We'll be watching the cost and what the final plans would be should the FAA give that approval, uh, which could come in the next 30 days after this final review process. Uh, if that happens, construction could start on the air train uh, by June with a possible ride on it by 2025. Outside LaGuardia Airport in East Helmers, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.